and oh Christ, I just waved at two more scooters. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm pretty sure that I'm not a moto vlogger anymore. I just forgot how to do everything right and I'm waving at scooters and everything's so confusing. Uh, cue the intro. Yo, what is up guys? Duke of DC here. Welcome to another video. Ah, feels good to say that. You know, you go on like a little hiatus, you take a little vacation, then you, you get back to the grind, and uh, sometimes it feels good, and it feels really good. I mean, this isn't a grind at all. I freaking love it. I, I love this. I love this channel. I love saying, hey, what is up, guys? Duke of DC here. You know what I don't love? Red lights. I hate red lights. The whole purpose of coming out during lunch is to avoid traffic and, and stopping but it's unavoidable. I think my head got fatter while I was out. This helmet is snug. Oh. All right, come on. We can do this. You and me together. Yes, yes. The two of us together. Yes, yes. First time back on the Tuono since I got back in town a couple days ago. I've just been busy with work and I haven't had uh, haven't had time to go on a ride. I missed it. I missed it. But at the same time, I might this might be my last ride. And you guys are probably like, whoa, wait, take a step back and explain yourself, mister. Well, there's a buyer, a very serious buyer for this bike, and uh, generally speaking, once I have someone who's who's agreed to a, a you know a tentative offer, I don't like to ride the bike. So really, I'm just out today doing kind of a final ride, making sure everything's good to go. I wanted to start it up and make sure that uh, you know the battery hadn't died on me or anything while I was away for the week. And of course, it started right up. It looks all purdy. I do need to clean it for him though because it's so dirty. I don't sell dirty bikes. What's the point? What's, you know, you're gonna pay me top dollar, you're getting a clean bike. Um, but yeah, he's a subscriber, he seems like a really nice guy. We are trying to work out logistics, so this isn't necessarily set in stone. Uh, you know, no pressure on his end, no pressure on my end. I, I do want to sell it to him though. He seems like, you know, the best kind of buyer. He, uh, he's just a good, good dude, good dude. Um, and it makes me sad, but again, it makes me kind of excited and happy and you know, I'm ready. I'm ready for the next bike. I'm ready for the next experience. And the next experience might not be a bike for now. You know, I've been humoring the idea of possibly buying a, a BMW M2 and seeing where that takes me. But at the same time, BMW M2s are like $57,000. So that's not really chill. So yeah guys, I just got done with the uh, Pebble Beach Car Week in Monterey, Pebble Beach area, Carmel. Um, probably the greatest weekend trip. Oh my God, I just waved at a Vespa. I come back from vacation and I'm waving at Vespas. What is going on? What's happened to me? <laughs> no, no, it's so embarrassing. A Vespa is at least in the Piaggio group. You know, it's like the, it's like the little cousin to the Aprilia. But yeah, guys, car week, amazing. If you have an opportunity at any point in your life to get out there for the week, the weekend, you have to do it. We went everywhere from Laguna Seca to Mecum Auctions to, of course, the main event on Sunday, the Concorde Elegance, which was uh, probably the classiest thing I've ever been to. And I felt really out of place because uh, as much as I try and be classy, I'm not a very good dresser. When I, just, I felt underdressed and poor. And uh, I, I know that that's all like self-esteem bullshit and I should just get over it, but uh, the amount of money floating around that place was mind-boggling, to say the least. It was not how many millionaires were there, it was, I wonder how many billionaires are here. That's what I felt the entire time. Oh yeah, get into it, baby. Nothing like a good downshift to get your blood rushing. Yeah! Of course the fuel light's on. Of course it is. It's so bumpy. Just everywhere I ride, it's just bumpy. Um, my goodness. Like a 
magnet for potholes. These Q3s, man, Q3s are amazing. Dunlop Q3 tires. That's my review. I love, I love them. Um, yeah, you guys will have seen a video, hopefully soon, if not already, of my Pebble Beach kind of experience. It's gonna be very like choppy, kind of half-assed put together. And it's not because I wanted it to be like that or because I slouched on editing. It's because I genuinely just like was so overwhelmed that I couldn't capture everything and it just turned out eh. So I still have a lot to learn when it comes to making videos when I'm not riding the motorcycle. And that's fine because the only way to learn is to do. And that's what we're doing. We're putting out videos off bike. So yeah, I'm excited to be back on the bike. I am both excited and sad that uh, it's basically time. It's time to sell the bike. That this, you know, it seems like a pretty serious guy. And of course there are some logistics we're working out, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm relatively certain that I'll sell it to him and be moving on to the next option, the next thing in my life that uh, that's going to propel me to speeds unfathomable. Uh, but it's all exciting stuff, you know? We're going to the express lanes because we want to go fast. mother thinks they know which bike is going to be next. The thing that you guys need to, to get through your heads is that I don't even know what bike is going to be next. You know, I'm probably the most indecisive person in the world, especially when it comes to spending large sums of money. Because first off, I like my money, right? I'm a savvy little saver. I have things in my life that I need to be responsible for, and I can't just go spending $20,000 here, $20,000 there, and I realize I just told you that I want to buy an M2, which is all of, you know, Fifty-seven, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, but uh, it's, bikes are different. Bikes to me, you know, it's a luxury item, and so if I'm buying a bike, I'm buying it outright. And that's just, I feel like that's appropriate. If you can't buy a motorcycle outright, it's not necessarily an issue. I, you know, that's why financing exists. But for me, it's just a preference. Cars? Cars are, are an item that you need. Now, do you need an M2? Hell no. Could you get away with like a used uh, Civic? Yes, or Camry, of course. You don't need something fancy, fast, and expensive, or new to get you to and from work. In fact, the more money you spend on that kind of a car that is just going to be your commuter vehicle, uh, then the more you might resent your, your purchase and have buyer's remorse. But, hey, you know, you're only young once, and I am very good with my money. So, we'll see. I wish I could have both. I mean, to be honest, I wish I could keep the Tuono, get a new bike, and the M2. But that's just not an option right now, and maybe it will be in the future. Pull a little 650 Eve action, and have uh, many bikes in my garage, like the great 650 does. But not right now, and that's okay. But coming back from car week, man, it gets you motivated to go out and just uh, and just do what you need to do to be successful. And it sounds weird, but like watching that many people who have clearly, quote unquote, made it, right? Because maybe they have shitty lives and their wives cheat on them or their husbands cheat on them and they have successful or unsuccessful companies, but they are still worth a lot of money. You know, there are factors that nobody will ever know about someone except for that person and the ones that are close to them. But from the outside looking in, when you roll up in a 458 Speciale wearing a $250,000 Audemars Pugil watch, or you know, if that's how you pronounce it, and you, you get bottle service at the Pebble Beach event, I assume you've made it. So you've fooled me. And life is not about money in the slightest, but money gives you opportunities and freedoms to do the things that you want. And uh, freedom is a freedom is a tough thing to get. You know, everybody in the United States is free, so to speak. But freedom of to do what you want is a whole different thing. A whole different thing. It comes much more difficultly. And over years.
years of sacrifice. And as a young guy, that's probably been the hardest thing to get through my head is that I probably have another decade or two of really hardcore sacrifices and working my ass off before I even have the opportunities to, uh, to make that kind of a successful ripple in the waters, so to speak. Yeah, guys, just a quick little update video, and uh, that's it. That's all she wrote. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one. Peace! 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 It's my best Michael Jackson. Jackson! This is my best Michael Jackson impression.